Hey everyone, welcome back to another tutorial on Camp Keyframe. And today I'm going to talk to you about linking objects together using parenting and null layers, null objects. So we're in After Effects here and I have these three different elements, my yellow, blue and pink one. And they're all separate elements and I can animate them separately. But if what if I want to link them together? I can use the parent for that. And you can see that right here, we have this parent uh, button here and this little icon. So what this means is parent something to it and that becomes the parent and that little, the other thing becomes the child. So let's say uh, if I select the blue and the pink one here, and if I go to parent and link and I select yellow, so that makes yellow now the parent of these two child. So you can see that also here, yellow. And if I move the yellow right now, then all the other ones move right along with it. I can move them individually as well and separately, and I can just do all my animations what I want with them. But when I move my yellow one, uh, everything stays together. I can also, if I just uh, set them to none again, then my yellow layer is separately again, they're all separate. Uh, I can also use this little picket whip, it, it's called, and you can select it and then drag uh, it to the yellow one and now they're also linked to the yellow one. It's the same as selecting it right here and That's um, How parenting works, but what you can also do and let's turn these off. I can also um, uh, So they work with everything by the way So if I link them to my yellow and if I, if I rotate it, they all rotate um, Along with it around this point here because this is my anchor point for my yellow one so these all move around that point. But what if I um, only want to link my rotation, but not my position? I can do that as well. I can open my blue and my pink one, pressing R, or all of them, pressing R on the keyboard to open the rotation properties. And then while holding Option on your keyboard, you can click on this little stopwatch here to open the expressions box where you can type in expressions if you want. We're not gonna do that right now. But here we will also have this little pick whip. And if I select this and drag that to the rotation of um, my yellow layer, like that, it now follows the rotation of my yellow layer, but only the rotation. I'm gonna do the same thing with the pink one, pressing option on my keyboard, clicking on the stopwatch, and I'm gonna select this pick whip and then go to the rotation for the yellow one. And now if I rotate my yellow one, these other objects are also rotating, but around their own axis. So that's really easy and convenient for you there, like that. And that uh, also works with position, of course. So you can just pick whip and parent stuff directly to the rotation or scale or position property, if you would like. So I'm going to uh, hit um, option on my keyboard and then click on the stopwatch again to delete those links. So now they're all um, separate again and I don't follow that rotation anymore. What you can also do is create a null layer. And null layers are basically empty layers, which you can use to control stuff. So if I go to layer, new, null object, it creates this little square, this empty square, and it looks kind of weird, And but it doesn't actually do anything at all right now. Uh, it does show this little box here, but it, does, it won't show up in your final render or anything. It's just, uh, you can see it as a guide layer, kind of. Uh, so this null is empty and I can um, add properties to this and then link objects to that null layer. So let's say I want these uh, objects all to turn around from one specific point. So I can select uh, the blue and the pink one and uh, parent them to my yellow one. Uh, I can uh, turn my yellow one around, but I'm, they're not moving from the middle of the screen. So I can replace my anchor point here and put that right here. And then now they all move around that. But that's kind of uh, it's a hassle and it's uh, not the easiest way to do this. So I'm going to command Z, just undo that. And I'll just select all of them and then parent them to my null layer. And then I can just control my null layer and I can um, change it up with position or with rotation. And now they're all uh, moving in accordance to this null layer. So it controls everything. So I can control uh, multiple layers with this one null and I can... Um, so let's say let's I want to give them all their own rotation. So let's say rotation here and then in four seconds they need to be rotated a little bit like this. 
Let's go with the yeah, but the blue one with minus, so it turns on turns the other way around. So now they all have this rotation, but I also want them to rotate all of them at the same time around this little point here. So I can also animate my null object and give that a rotation as well. So now they are rotating and rotating around their own axis. So now you can create a whole lot of cool uh, movements without too much layers or without too much keyframes. Um, I can even go uh, select uh, the null layer and add a position uh, to this as well to make it uh, go down a bit or maybe just to start stop there and start up here. So now it also moves down and it rotates again. So you can create a lot of different uh, cool looking effects uh, with null layers and parenting. And uh, it's, it's our, it, you know, very powerful tools which you can easily use and they're uh, easily understandable. So I highly recommend you dive into that a little bit more and create stuff using parent, uh, the parent option and null layers. Yeah, that's it for today. I hope you liked watching this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel if you aren't already. And I hope to see you next week with a new tutorial on Camp Keyframe. Thanks, bye bye.